Hi, this is Christine Prasad for Best Buy Canada, and I have here the Cuisinart 3 in 1 microwave air fryer oven. So, uh, as the name implies, it is a microwave, but it's also an air fryer. So, I love small kitchen appliances, I have tons of them in my kitchen. Uh, but you run out of room eventually and an air fryer is one of those uh, devices that a lot of people have been talking about recently and would love to get but the hold back is, is often times that there's no room. So this device combines both uh, an essential small kitchen appliance with an air fryer so if you have a microwave that's in dire need of upgrading this might be worth considering because you get the microwave and the air fryer in one. So keep in mind it is a pretty compact uh, microwave uh, or microwave oven and air fryer. Um, it's got this top part here, which is going to make it higher than uh, a typical microwave, um, and it's pretty deep. So check the dimensions uh, and make sure that you measure the space before you can even consider it or consider uh, deciding on what spot to place it. Uh, so as I mentioned, it's pretty compact. Um, so you open it up, and the interior is pretty small. Uh, this is, you know, my standard size uh, plate here would not fit in this. Can fit a smaller plate, and um, you know most stuff you should be able to do with with just that anyway. So, uh, as a microwave, it has your typical turntable assembly inside, but it also comes with the air fryer pan and the air fryer basket. Uh, so these are what you use when you're air frying something. If you're microwaving, you just use this. So it's got uh, some pretty handy presets here that will tell you how to. Um, you know, quickly make things like fries, uh, popcorn, reheat, softening, butter, and things like that. Uh, I'll get into that in a little bit. So, uh, the preset functions, or all the functions rather, are here. Everything is operated through the side. So you've got microwave, oven, air fry, uh, and turntable. Then you've got defrost, stage cooking, and combi cooking. So combi cooking allows you to use the microwave and the oven at the same time. So there are two modes where you can use uh, mostly microwave, with a little bit of air fry at the end. That's great for casseroles that you want to get uh, nice and heat, heated evenly throughout and then a uh, crisp top at the end. And you can do the opposite, so it's mostly um, air fry with a little bit of microwave at the end. Uh, that's good for roasting poultry and meats and things like that. Um, and then you've got uh, you know air fry presets for fries, wings, and snacks. Uh, microwave presets, popcorn, potato, veggie. Uh, beverage, melt, soften, and reheat. So uh, I got to work trying a whole bunch of different things in this device to see how, uh, how it worked. First thing I did was I did uh, chicken drumsticks. So in this uh, air fry basket I was able to fit 10 uh, normal sized chicken drumsticks. Uh, I used the chicken wing air fry preset so it's about 20 minutes and they came out perfect so they were uh, nice and uh, crispy exterior and really juicy inside. Uh, I should note that uh, it is very important that you use the pan uh, at the bottom whenever you're air frying something because uh, you know juices will fall down from things like chicken um, or if you've got something battered you know just so it drips so it doesn't drip on the turn table and make a mess all over the microwave um, and uh, makes it really clean and tidy. Uh, for the air fry function, I also tried uh, frozen foods that we all love. Uh, I'm sure that uh, anyone who has kids uh, knows that sometimes dinner consists of french fries and chicken nuggets and things like that. So uh, I did uh, french fries and chicken nuggets a few times. I did some uh, right before shooting this video. So they're nice golden brown. Uh, these are uh, smaller french fries than normal. So the preset for fries is 20 minutes. I actually just cooked these for 10 minutes and they came out perfect. Um, but it's great because you just press air fry, fries, pop it in, and you're good to go. I also did things like fresh vegetable spring rolls, uh, which again came out golden brown and perfect. Uh, air fry was about 10 minutes for those. Uh, we had uh, barbecued uh, some wings one night, and uh, the next day for lunch, I used the reheat function here, um, uh, or rather, I used air fry just to give them a nice crisp exterior and reheat them at the same time. Uh, for the microwave function, uh, I did a few different things. I tried a broccoli dish, just some roasted broccoli to go along with uh, with the, the chicken drumsticks that I mentioned. And um, I also did um, a recipe that actually included in the manual for maple cinnamon oatmeal. So everything in a dish, pop it in, and it came out perfectly as well. Um, worked really well. 
So, um, you know, anything you can do with your microwave uh, now, you can do with this, and anything you can do with a typical air fryer, you can do with this. Um, everything, as I mentioned, is operated here, so the turn dial operates everything. So if you were to choose microwave, and you choose your time, you know, 40 seconds, you press it in, it's going to say 10p, and it will go from 0 up to 10. So 10p is uh, high temperature. As you go down, that adjusts the temperature accordingly, all the way down to just a low defrost. So for this kind of uh, for this kind of stuff, you'd have to uh, consult the manual. Um, after a while, you probably get uh, pretty familiarized with the manual, and uh, then you you'll remember what everything is. But like most microwaves, you probably only use high and uh, defrost most of the time anyway. Uh, so the stop clear at any time during an air fry. By the way, you can just press the stop clear button open the door, check on the food, close it back, and uh, start it up again. There's also a plus 30 second um, button, which is uh, a great uh, quick press button when you just uh, want to let something heat up a little bit more. Um, and uh, that is uh, pretty much it. So you can read more details and see some wonderful pictures of all the delicious food that I cooked and reheated in this uh, small appliance on the Best Buy blog. Uh, but uh, this is it for now, and uh, thank you so much for watching.